PJ Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we got uh, ended up with quite a bit of sunshine today after a soaking rain and a lot of wind last night. Let's get a look at what's happening at the moment. Live Doppler radar again, nice and dry. Our skies for the most part have cleared out. Threat tracker for tonight, Sunday and Monday, low chance of severe weather. Quiet through Monday, but another stormy day on the way for Tuesday. Temperatures are at 38 in Richmond, already down to 34. Chapachet, upper 30s in Providence, New Bedford at 40. Live look at the Newport Bridge. Good, good visibility this evening. Here's Providence. We've got dry sky, temperature 39 with a busy wind still from the west at 17 miles an hour. Satellite radar picture. Now it's pretty quiet across southern New England, but we had a couple of snow showers and a few sprinkles come on by earlier in the afternoon. Didn't amount to much, but the sign of things to come. Perhaps high pressure off to our west going to be building across southern New England during the next 24 hours, keeping our weather dr uh, dry as we head through Sunday and into to the daytime on Monday, but changes as I mentioned on Tuesday. Let's track them with our hour by hour forecast. Here we are overnight with dry skies taking you into your Sunday morning. We start off with sunshine taking you into your Sunday night. We're still holding on to clear skies. Uh, we are going to be seeing maybe some extra clouds arriving later in the day on Monday, but Monday as a whole looks dry. Notice all the rain off to our south and west late Monday. That is Tuesday's rain likely arriving later late Monday night, early Tuesday morning. It'll be quite a bit of a, a soaking rain, maybe some strong winds as well. So Sunday morning looks like this, kind of cold, starting out in the low 30s, getting up to about 42 degrees by noontime. Lots of sunshine though, temperatures along the coastline, low 40s in Narragansett, Charlestown, not quite as windy tomorrow, about 40 in Johnston, 42 in Providence, over in southeastern Mass, Seacock, Fall River, and New Bedford in the lower 40s. Here's our seven day forecast. Monday looking at dry weather. Tuesday we are looking at some stormy weather, mainly in the morning hours. We're looking at maybe some heavy rain first thing Tuesday morning, maybe some thunderstorms, perhaps some strong winds as well. The way it looks right now, probably winding down around midday, and then we should begin to dry out, but the winds will start picking up uh, for Tuesday afternoon. Now on a Wednesday, look at the temperature, 38 degrees, and it's going to be quite windy on a Wednesday. Look at the wind chills at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to feel like it's in the mid-20s for Wednesday afternoon. Staying kind of chilly for Thursday, but not as windy. Temperatures around 42 degrees. Right now, Friday looks dry. Saturday, we've got uh, some clouds and sunshine, maybe some uh, rain and, yeah, I said it, snow no. showers on a Saturday. Quick hello to the kids at the Forest Park Elementary School in North Kingstown. I visited with them last week, talked all about weather. And we really talked about the weather, the uh, water cycle, which they knew mm. a lot about. Interesting. Had a lot of fun there. Wow, excellent. And you know, tomorrow, Veterans Day, a lot of communities have parades. New Bedford's is at 11 in the morning. Looks like it's clear. Looks great. Just bundle up. All right, thanks. Coming up in sports on Eyewitness News at 6, high school football playoffs from around Rhode Island.